might have probably heard about the strange discoveries found in various places, you've got a seemingly infinite array of options to read and learn about. So which ones have made the biggest impact on scientists' understanding of humankind? To find out, we took a look at 10 of the greatest findings of all time. The list includes important discoveries from around the world. While we're all stuck at home, there's no better way to transport yourself to a different time and place than by learning about fascinating sites and discoveries across the globe. Here are the 10 strangest discoveries on Earth. Like the video if you're new to the channel and you like the video consider subscribing, we do our best to keep you up to date. So if you want to stay current regarding the best gear make sure to hit that subscribe button. Number 10. Gebekli Tepe Gebekli Tepe is a Neolithic archaeological site near the city of Şanlıurfa in southeastern Anatolia, Turkey. Dated to the pre-pottery Neolithic, between 9500 and 8000 BCE, the site comprises a number of large circular structures supported by massive stone pillars, the world's oldest known megaliths. Many of these pillars are richly decorated with abstract anthropomorphic details, clothing, and reliefs of wild animals, providing archaeologists rare insights into prehistoric religion and the particular iconography of the period. The site was first used at the dawn of the Neolithic period, which in Southwest Asia marks the appearance of the oldest permanent human settlements anywhere in the world. The site's original excavator, German archaeologist Klaus Schmidt, described it as the world's first temple, a sanctuary used by groups of nomadic hunter-gatherers from a wide area, with few or no permanent inhabitants. Other archaeologists challenged this interpretation, arguing that the evidence for a lack of agriculture and a resident population was far from conclusive. Number 9. Dikwis Spheres Popping up in yards across Costa Rica, the huge, stone dikwis spheres might be seen as simply a landscaping trend, but in fact the rounded stones are mysterious artifacts that were created centuries ago in great numbers, but for unknown reasons. In the 1930s, workers from the United Fruit Company, clearing land in the Dikwis Valley of Costa Rica, began unearthing large numbers of almost perfectly round stone spheres. The largest of these apparently man-made balls is over 2 meters in diameter and weighs over 16 tons. No one is sure exactly when or how they were made, or for what reason, but, according to University of Kansas archaeologist John Hoops, the balls were most likely made by reducing round boulders to a spherical shape through a combination of controlled fracture, pecking, and grinding. Today, virtually all of the spheres have been taken from their original locations. Many are prized lawn ornaments across Costa Rica. A collection of six now resides in the courtyard of Costa Rica's National Museum in San Jose. Number 8. Soxe Woman. Located on a steep hill that overlooks the city, the fortified complex has a wide view of the valley to the southeast. Archaeological studies of surface collections of pottery at Saksiwaman indicate that the earliest occupation of the hilltop dates to about 900 CE. The architecture in Saksiwaman has sacred buildings such as residential buildings, towers, shrines, warehouses, roads and aqueducts. That is why, the shape and harmony of the landscape is similar to other sacred Inca places such as Machu Picchu main wall of Sacsayhuaman and is built in zigzag with giant stones up to 5 meters high and 2.5 meters wide. The south side is bounded by a polished wall approximately 400 meters long. The east and west are limited by other walls and platforms. Number 7. Baby Disposal The bones of nearly 100 infants were deposited in a late Roman early Byzantine sewer beneath a bathhouse at Ashkelon, on the southern coast of Israel, continue to baffle scholars. An initial examination of the remains by Patricia Smith and Hila Kahila of the Hebrew University revealed that most of the bones, discovered in 1988, were intact and that all parts of the skeletons were represented, suggesting that the infants had probably been thrown into the drain soon after death. All of the bones and teeth are comparable to those of newborn infants. The absence of neonatal lines prominent marks in the enamel of deciduous teeth and first permanent molars, 
which are considered evidence of survival for more than three days indicates the babies died shortly after birth. The number of infants, all of the same age and with no signs of disease or skeletal malformation, suggested infanticide rather than a catastrophe such as epidemic, war, or famine, in which a range of ages might be expected. Smith and Kahila thought the Ashkelon infants were probably girls because female infanticide was widespread in Roman society. Number 6. Mount Owen Claw The upland moa was a species of moa endemic to New Zealand. It was a member of the ratite family, a type of flightless bird with no keel on the sternum. It was the last moa species to become extinct, vanishing around 1500 CE, and was predominantly found in alpine and subalpine environments. The birds became extinct approximately 700 to 800 years ago and were native to New Zealand. The claw, which is estimated at more than 3,300 years old, has been valuable for researchers, as it is bones and tissue intact, giving opportunities to conduct studies. The flesh-covered claw has resurfaced, and social media is buzzing, saying it looks like something out of science fiction. Using DNA recovered from the toe, Harvard scientists have now mapped and compiled the first almost complete genome of a little bush moa, moving closer to the possibility that extinct genomes will soon become de extinct. The whole idea of bringing vanished species back to life by slipping the genome into the egg of a living species, has been regarded by some reviewers. Number 5. Venetian Vampires A vampire unearthed in a mass grave near Venice was unusually old for the Middle Ages, suggesting she may also have been accused of being a witch, according to new research that includes a reconstruction of the medieval woman. A female vampire unearthed in a mass grave near Venice, Italy, may have been accused of wearing another evil hat, a witch. The 16th century woman was discovered among medieval plague victims in 2006. Her jaw had been forced open by a brick, an exorcism technique used on suspected vampires in Europe at the time. The discovery marked the first time archaeological remains had been interpreted as those of an alleged vampire, project leader Matteo Berini a forensic archaeologist at the University of Florence in Italy, said when the skull was first revealed in March 2009. New investigations have now shed light on who this vampire was, why people may have suspected her of dabbling in the dark arts, and even what she looked like. There is a piece of history to rewrite, to see this individual again after 500 years and also try to understand why the myth of vampire started, Berini says in a new National Geographic Channel documentary. Number 4. Nazca Lines The Nazca Lines are a group of very large geoglyphs made in the soil of the Nazca Desert in southern Peru. They were created between 500 BC and AD 500 by people making depressions or shallow incisions in the desert floor, removing pebbles and leaving differently colored dirt exposed. Most lines run straight across the landscape, but there are also figurative designs of animals and plants. Some of the Nazca lines form shapes that are best seen from the air, though they are also visible from the surrounding foothills and other high places. The shapes are usually made from one continuous line. The largest ones are about 370 meters long. Because of its isolation in the dry, windless, stable climate of the plateau, the lines have mostly been preserved naturally. Extremely rare changes in weather may temporarily alter the general designs, as of 2012, the lines are said to have been deteriorating because of an influx of squatters inhabiting the lands. Number 3. Volgograd Discs, Dropa Stones The Dropa Stones are an alleged collection of 716 circular stones that are 12,000 years old and contain hieroglyphic markings. These stones were located in the Bayanhar Mountains of China. Some ufologists cite this discovery as proof of an extraterrestrial visit to Earth. The discovery also included a large number of dwarf-like skeletons of unknown origin. The stones have since been shrouded in mystery with insufficient proof of their existence. Dropa stones were supposedly discovered in 1938 during an expedition to a large cave system in the Bayanhar Mountains on the border between Tibet and China. The Chinese professor who led the expedition, Chi Pu Te, 
described the caves as artificially carved and predominantly used as a graveyard by an ancient extraterrestrial species. Allegedly, they found a large number of graves, carefully aligned in rows. No photographs or documentation exists of the ancient skeletons in the tomb. At the same time, their overall description genuinely borders the fictional. According to the archaeologists, these ancient beings measured four feet in height and displayed abnormal characteristics. Their heads were incredibly large and developed while the remaining parts of their bodies were relatively small, thin, and fragile. Number 2. Graubal Man Immediately after Graubal Man was discovered, P.V. Glob was sure he was dealing with a bog body from the Iron Age. Several dating methods, including pollen analysis samples from the bog and radiocarbon dating of Graubal Man's liver, hair and bone confirmed that he was right. Graubal Man lived and died in the pre-Roman Iron Age, c. 400-200 BC, and most probably around 390 BC. From the detailed examination of his skeleton and body we know that he was a man of about 35 years old and between 165 and 170 centimeters high. His hair, now red as a result of the time he spent in the bog, was about 15 centimeters long and may originally have been blonde or dark. Though these disappeared during the conservation of the body, Graubal man had a 1.0 centimeters long beard and mustache on his chin and upper lip when he was found suggesting that he last shaved about two weeks before he died. When he died, Grabal Man was relatively healthy, with no bone diseases. Number 1. Bosnian Sphere In Bosnia, in a forest outside the town of Zavitovici, a controversial archaeologist, Semir Osmanijic, has found a giant stone sphere. It's impressively large 4 to 5 feet in diameter, and has high iron content. Only part of it was peeking out of the ground, but Osmanagic and colleagues revealed more of it. This could be, he told reporters, the oldest stone sphere made by humans. There's a lot going on here. First, Osmanagic. The last time he made major news was a decade ago, in 2005, when he announced he had found ancient pyramids linked by underground tunnels in Bosnia. They were connected to a 12,000-year-old civilization, he said. Other archaeologists who took a look found evidence of human habitation there, but going back just to the Middle Ages, were thereabouts. The hills, they thought, were just hills. No pyramids here. Second, stone spheres. There are incredibly, handcrafted stone spheres in the world. They're found in Costa Rica, carved from a rock called Gabros. Alright guys that's all for now if you enjoyed this video please go ahead and leave a like if you're new to the channel and you like the video consider subscribing, we do our best to keep you up to date. So, if you want to stay current regarding the best gear make sure to hit that subscribe button. Hope you all have a great day we'll see you back here soon for the next video.